All right, welcome to Hovercraft Physics and Chemistry for a sample problem on momentum. We're going to look at a problem where two objects collide. One is at rest to start, and then they stick together and move together. For this particular question, we have cart A with a mass of 1.5 kilograms, cart B slightly less massive, mass of 1 kilogram, and the initial velocity of cart A is 65 centimeters per second. So this is moving in to the right they'll stick together and move together. Sometimes you'll see this in physics demonstration carts. They have a side that has Velcro so that they stick together. There's a follow-up question here about how much energy is dissipated and whether or not this is an elastic or inelastic collision. Um, we're not gonna take a look at that question just yet. That would be an energy analysis, which we will address at a later time. So let me make the problem a little bit smaller. I like to organize these um, with a table. I'm just kind of a visual person like that. So what I'm gonna do is set up a table where I have a um, before column and an after column. That would be before collision and after collision. And then I've got cart A, cart B, and a total. So the other thing that we need to note is that the formula for momentum is quite simple. It's just mass times velocity. So for cart A, that was the cart that was moving in to the right from the left. Um, its mass was 1.5 kilograms. Its speed here is listed in centimeters per second, which is fine. The standard unit for speed would be meters per second, but there's no need to convert from that as long as you're gonna be consistent and report all velocities in centimeters per second. And that equals 97.5, and the unit would be kilogram centimeters per second. Cart B is not moving, so it has a momentum of zero. I could plug in its mass times zero, but it's not really necessary. So the total momentum before the collision is all in cart A. And just to specify, I'll call it positive 97.5 kilogram centimeters per second. After the collision, um, we know that they're stuck together. That's a key piece of information. So they will be moving together with the same speed. So if I'm looking at calculating a momentum for this cart, the only thing I know for sure is its mass. It's got a mass of 1.5 kilograms. And it's going some final speed. I'll use V for velocity, and I'm just going to put VF, its final velocity. Cart B is no longer at rest. It's moving along with cart A. Its mass is one kilogram. And this is key. It's going to be moving the exact same speed. So I don't need to differentiate between the final velocity. They're moving together with that speed. So my total momentum would be adding these up. So all together, I have 2.5 kilograms of mass moving together at a speed VF. And the key concept here is that momentum is conserved. So our totals should be equal. Knowing that, all I need to do is a quick calculation to solve for VF. I want to isolate VF, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2.50 kilograms. And that's going to cancel over here on the right-hand side. And the final velocity should equal 97.5 divided by 2.5 and that actually comes out to equal 39.0. And I'm solving for a velocity, so if I carry through my unit cancellation, kilograms will cancel, and I end up in units of centimeters per second. So that's the final velocity of the two carts moving together, demonstrating and using the fact that momentum is conserved in a collision like this. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments, and thank you for watching.